That sure is a lot of bike to take in, isn't it? Pretty. That is uh, the Harley Davidson Dark Cherry. So to get one of these Tri-Glide Ultras in a base fashion, uh, introduction price is going to be $34,900. Uh, this one is not a base, but it's not the maxed out, top of the line, all the bells and whistles. It does have some frills. As far as the motor, the exhaust system, that is 100% stock. So what I love about Harley Davidson when you get these things stock is they leave so much meat on the bone, guys. They allow the rider to mold the motorcycle to fit the person who bought it rather than buying a Harley Davidson already maxed out performance wise. So with that being said guys, the exhaust system is a two into one into two. We are looking at a total of 121 foot pounds of torque. And of course that's going to be in the RPM range of 3,250. And this Milwaukee 8114 is an air and oil cooled motor. And I think it's going to be in the neighborhood of 1,863 cc's. It's belt driven. Here's a mouthful for you guys. So this 2019 Harley Davidson Tri-Glide Ultra is listed as an FLH TCUTG. Give yourselves a high five Harley Davidson because you couldn't have made that any easier. So, this Tri-Glide on horsepower, which uh, I have dug up uh, mixed reviews on, is rocking under 100 horse. And that's to be expected coming from a uh, Harley Davidson. Uh, I'm not knocking on Harleys, I, I own two of them. Uh, but, and that's good too, because there's so much potential in the Harley Davidson motor to be able to reach in and draw more horsepower, more performance out of the bike. It's just gonna be at the rider's expense. So when I sat down on it, I immediately knew where everything was at. You have the left blinker and the right blinker are on their own sep separate handle grip. Uh, traction control and horn, high beam, low beams, all on the left side. And then start, kill, reverse, and four ways are on the right side. Very homely feel considering I don't have a reverse. Um, this 2019 has the boom audio system in it. And compared to my 2017 Street Glide, that had their version of the Harley Davidson infotainment system, I could tell you that what was on my 2017 Street Glide seemed like it was louder. Uh, I would love to bring y'all guys a side by side comparison, but that uh, equipment is no longer on my bike. I have upgraded it. But nevertheless, this trike has four speakers and it is loud. I love the fact that the 2019 Tri-Glides came with the LED day, day makers and they're all standard with the passing lamps as long as you get the Ultra. Here it is on. Here it is on bright. And when you have the high beams on, the passing lamps automatically turn off. One thing I did notice is the stock horn on this Tri-Glide is louder than the stock horn on my street glide. Here's a sound test. Harley Davidson did an amazing job with the luggage compartment space that they gave this Ultra. And what I am thinking is equivalent in the rear above the exhaust storage guys is probably two of your typical saddlebags put together. Uh, just in this case it's consolidated down to one one rear entry door and then on top is your standard tour pack and it's your standard depth width 
it's not the slim or the thinner one. Uh, you can fit two helmets in there sideways. We're running Dunlop tires on the rear. Harley Davidson did a good job with the rim design. And your standard Ultra Dunlop tire on the front. Nothing's really changed over all the years. I still think they're running the same rims and tire specs. One of the nice things is all the lighting that's on this bike. You get the light on the front, you get your constant running lights, your passing lights, your daymaker. The trunk in the back, guys, has the lights that run all the way around and underneath. Uh, and then it has a blinker and a running light on each fender. And when you use left blinker, right blinker, the, all the lights in the rear change in the direction that you're turning. The infotainment system on this bike, guys, was extremely easy to figure out. I just want to add that I'm extremely jealous of them taking the buttons off and making this touch sensitive. On my model, the home, volume control, audio adjustments, I didn't have the information, but I had a way to mute it or turn the whole, whole head unit off. They're all, they're all flush instead of protruding buttons. So, turn this a little bit more for y'all. This is the home screen, so you have navigation. Go back to home. You have audio. You can select which audio you want. I'll go back to home calls there's nothing currently paired with it it's extremely easy to pair like right here I mean it's no phone is currently connected but would you like to connect if I were to hit yes it would try to connect with my phone come over here to the information on the right side is how you toggle through this information on the bike so right here since we're not running it's not going to display anything obviously we're at zero miles per hour we're 437 foot above sea level at 59 degrees even. This will read individual. And then on the other side, there's nothing. And right here's your compass, east. And obviously I have it on mute. In the middle is engine, check engine. Okay, so I'm not even running it. Distance uh, since service last is uh, 660 and almost a half. Uh, traveled miles was 366 uh, obviously it's displaying hours underneath 217.33 we have an average speed speed limit guys of 55 miles an hour at 34 and 1 tenth fuel usage is 10.7 and I have a total stops of 12 I mean this thing gets in deep on traveling as so it should uh, me, I like all this information when I'm traveling. I like to know what my bike's doing. I like to know the changes that my bike is making while it's in performance, whether you're just cruising down the road or you're needing to get around somebody. It's, I always feel more comfortable knowing every little thing about my motorcycle because then you can predict if something's going to happen. This thing has such a smooth startup. Let me put it in neutral, it's in neutral. And this particular Tri-Glide Ultra looks exceptionally nice with all the chrome. I know a lot of the bikes are going towards the blackouts or even the duller colors of chrome. And between the blackouts, can't remember exactly what the name is. But uh, classic chrome, man, classic chrome, guys, was never, ever, ever going to go away. And I'm glad because I'm a classic chrome type of guy. When I first hopped on this bike, it didn't have a natural feel. The feel that a motorcycle has, uh, the settling, sinking, the ability to lean and sway. Uh, this, you're sitting on it and you're just upright. But the more and more I rode this, the more and more I was able to acclimate myself to the riding style and position. And it turned into more of a love than a hate. So, in the future, would I ever buy a trike? I think damn straight I would, guys. I would definitely diversify my portfolio with a trike uh, because 
This thing would be absolutely awesome on long hauls, and I would love to try to figure out how to build a trailer for this thing and tow my street glide, even though it's probably overweight. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my dad. Uh, this is his uh, Cherry Beauty right here. Uh, he did one hell of a job picking this uh, 19 model tri-glide out and uh, it's a pleasure to be able to review his motorcycle. He is uh, one hell of a man and uh, I want to thank you dad for allowing me to uh, uh, ride your bike. I know you just don't loan your stuff out to anybody so thank you for allowing me to uh, take something near and dear to your heart. Uh, all the way from Midlothian, Texas to San Antonio to do a review on it and to enjoy some miles underneath the wheels. So guys, with that being said, I would like to add that I don't work for Harley-Davidson and Harley-Davidson did not sponsor this video in any kind of way. Uh, everything that I bring to you on this channel comes out of my pockets or it was given to me just for a review like this situation right here. So with that being said, please guys, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on that notification icon. And if you have any questions somewhere down here, please uh, leave me a question in the comments and I would love to uh, respond. So this right here is one hell of a machine, guys. Until next time, my friends, stay throttled, guys. Just to let you know, this bad boy has a six-speed transmission.